But whatever, man. At least the music came back. That's good. No, no, no. No, no. Excuse me, Cloud? Yes? Did the captain say anything? Just about the failed launch. Oh. Shit, sure. What are you, blind? We got guests. Get some tea. Fuck! I... I'm sorry. Uh, really, don't mind us. Shut the hell up. Sit your asses down in those chairs and drink your goddamn tea. Tell them. Ah, damn, I'm pissed. Sure, I'll be in the backyard tuning up Tiny Bronco. And make sure to serve those clowns some tea, alright? Okay, then. That was awful. Sure, are you okay? Sorry, it's our fault. No, no, he's always like this. Is it like this all the time? You keep quiet even when he's like that to you? It's because of what happened on the day of the launch. Up into outer space and... What happened? Oh boy. So I guess you can do a quick summary of this, but we don't want to do that. Shinra is on its way. Hear the whole thing. Okay, so I wanted to go back and do this. Um, basically, the thing here is there's this whole scene that we end up skipping because they messed this up. If you choose here's the whole thing, you get the quick summary. And if you choose quick summary, you get the whole thing. So we're just going to go ahead and do this, and I'll put this in the video somewhere. So that's how it's going to go. Hey, get your ass in gear. You work like a snail. Even the moon get tired waiting around on your ass. I'm... I'm sorry. Don't take so much time checking that fucking oxygen tank. Shara, being careful is good, but no matter how many times you check that oxygen tank, it won't matter. That thing wouldn't break even if hell froze over. But... No buts! You're not stupid, so be more efficient. I'm sorry. Captain, our dreams are finally coming true. We are so proud to be a part of the launch of Shinra number 26. Captain, preparations are complete. All that's left is liftoff. Yeah, leave it all to me. I'll be back in a few. The cigarette never leaves his mouth. Ever. Alright, Captain, fly our dreams into outer space. Why does he have a cape? That's weird. Thanks, guys. We're praying for your safety. Instrument panel all clear. Shooter number 26, ready for launch. Engine pressure rising. Shooter number 26, three minutes to launch. Beginning countdown. Finally. What the? What happened? Sid, we have an emergency situation. A mechanic is still in the engine section of the rocket. What? Who is the little fuck? I don't know. Activating the intercom in the engine section. Hey, goddammit! Who the fuck's still in there? It's Shara, Captain. Don't mind me. Go ahead with the launch. Shara? What are you still doing in there? I was still concerned. The results of the oxygen tank test weren't satisfactory. You stupid little fuck. It's gonna get so hot in there that there ain't gonna be shit left of you when we blast off. You're gonna be burnt to a crisp. You know that, don't you? I don't mind. If I can just fix this, the launch will be a success. I'm almost done. Almost done? You're gonna die! Sid, we have to start the countdown. We won't make it if we don't. Starting engine. Hey, wait a minute! Shara's still in there! What are you gonna do, Sid? If we cancel now, it'll be another six months until the next launch! 
God damn it, Shara. You trying to make me a murderer? Captain. Shara. Tank number seven check is complete. Once I complete tank number eight, it's all clear. Come on, Shara, hurry up. You're gonna die. 30 seconds until ignition. Beginning countdown. Sid, forget about her. We won't make it in time. What what am I what am I supposed to do? Fifteen seconds until ignition. Internal temperature rising. Oh man, the moon, outer space, my dreams. Frickin' moon. Ignite engine. Shit! Oh, looks like he decided to abort it. Freaking Shara? Gotta ruin everything. I mean, she had a good reason, but still. So that's why it was lopsided like that. He aborted the launch too late. The rocket was damaged when it fell back onto the platform. Yeah, so I think this is where the uh, the other path would start. So, so yeah, that was kind of a... I, I kind of wanted to show that off because that's a pretty good scene. And and I will mention this. Um, in, in, in my high school, or I think it was my junior high creative writing class, I actually wrote that as a short story. Of course, I modified it, you know, kind of put my own little spin on it, but I basically kind of did that whole little plot line with Sid and Shara, and I got an A on it, so that's good stuff. He aborted the launch too late. The rocket was damaged when it fell back onto the platform. It was around then that Shinra began to focus more on Mako production, and so the space program was shelved. If the rocket had launched, it would have been destroyed by a mechanical fault, but as far as he's concerned, I'm the one that destroyed his dream. We need to leave the past behind, and when he's ready to do that, I'll be waiting for him. Did it just, like, skip it anyway? I don't know. Sure, you still haven't served him tea? I, I'm sorry. Hurry up and sit down, or is my hospitality not good enough for you? They're late. Where is Rufus? It's Palmer. Hey, hey, long time no see. Sid, how you been? Well, if it ain't Fat Man Palmer, how long were you figuring on keeping me waiting? So, when's the space program going to start up again? I, I don't know. The president's outside, so why don't you ask him? Shit, good for nothing, fat fucker. Don't say fat. You gotta love Sid's goofy laugh animation. Hey, are, are you making tea? Can I have some too? With lots of sugar and honey and... Oh yeah, don't forget the lard. <laughs> that line. Boom, boom, boom. Go ahead and make a save. Trust me, there's reasons to make... As many saves as you can. Huh? Have we met before? Is the tea ready yet? I doubt Rufus is here for the space program, but there's no telling the captain that. Yeah, well. That's how that goes. What the? You got me all excited for nothing. Then, wh what did you come here for? I want to borrow the tiny Bronco. We're chasing after Sephiroth, and we've learned that he's heading for the Temple of the Ancients. To reach it, we need a fast seaplane, but our Air Force is currently grounded for repairs, which is why I need your Bronco if we're to get there quickly. Shit, first the airship, then the rocket, and now the tiny Bronco? Shinra took outer space away from me, now you want to take the sky away from me too? Oh my. You seem to forgot it was because of Shinra Inc. 
that you were able to fly in the first place. What? Uh, excuse me. This way. What? You were here for the Bronco, right? I believe Palmer's about to steal it. Why don't you talk to him? I guess I could do that if if by talk to him you mean whip his ass. I could do that. Alright, let's do this thing, shall we? Hmm, why do I have to do this? I'm the head of the space program. How you doing? We'll be taking that tiny Bronco. I've seen you somewhere before. Oh, I know, the Shinra building. What? When the president was killed. S security Palmer appears to have transcended. Merton. What? I, I guess it has the same general effect as uh He's got 20,000 HP. And we against poison, of course. Same general effect as a Merton. From Final Fantasy VI. What was that? There's some pretty unique attacks. Agua Rake. He definitely has some much more powerful attacks in this version. Cactar gun. Okay, that's great. <laughs> of course, in the original, he pretty much only did, like, magic attacks. P pretty basic with his Mako gun. That didn't really hurt that much. But his attacks are much more threatening in this mod. What did he just do? Get up, Eris. We need you to do stuff. I'm guessing you can't manipulate him. Is he paralyzed? He's like invincible and he's paralyzed. I guess this is a good time to, uh, well, not with you, but I guess this would be a good, good, good time to buff yourself and such. Do some embedier. Since uh, since his attacks seem to be magical. He does, he does thousand needles. That's not cool, man. Okay, that heals him. That's nonsense. But there is no step counter. <laughs> L3 model. So he, so he basically does Final Fantasy VI attacks. Essentially. Oh yeah. That works very nicely. Limits are definitely what you want to do here. Meteor strike. That looks ridiculous. Man, that did a lot of damage to him. So we could do some Titan. And some Odin. Titan! Boom! Nice. Rama. Some Rama. He does seem to absorb either fire or... It's either fire or uh, ice. I'm not sure which. But of course he doesn't absorb earth. And this is non-elemental, so... Should be fine. 
Gongelands. Boom! That's how we do things here in the Mushroom Kingdom. Judgment Bolt! See how lightning does. Should be good. Maybe it'll paralyze him. Doubtful. You never know. Boom, there you go. That's what we want. Got him over halfway down. That's pretty sweet. Okay, I probably shouldn't do fire. Bio 2 would, would, would probably be a good thing. Yep, gravity does not work. Poison! Ooh, that is some good damage anyway, besides the poison. Man, poison just, just, just destroys this jerk. Compared to previous boss fights, this fight is extremely easy. Except for that beginning part. But yes, it's sent. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh oh. Who turned the plane on? Nah, 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 nah. Boom! Ah! He gets hit by a Shinra truck. That's too bad. So yeah, other than the beginning part, that fight was pretty easy. Eleven thousand experience. Heal level up randomly. Five thousand gil. That's nice. It's taken off. Forget it. Get in. Oh boy. And we're off. Don't run into the rocket now. Is someone actually steering this thing? Sid's model looks like he's wearing a cape or something. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Oh, that we, we got shot, man. Shit, the tail's been hit. That's not good. Emergency landing. This is gonna be a big splash. Hold, hold on to your drawers and don't piss in them. No. Luckily, we land in the water. Not a very deep part of the water, obviously. Well, that could have been much worse. She won't fly no more. While it's floating, can we use it as a boat? Shit, a boat? Do whatever you want. So, Sid, well, what'll you do now? I don't know. I'm history with the Shinra, and I've given up on that town. Well, what about Shara? You just abandoning her? Shara, don't make me laugh. Just thinking about that broad gives me the chills. What are you guys going to do? We're going after a man named Sephiroth. We'll have to stop Shinra and their Mako reactors someday, too. I don't know about any of that, but... What the hell? Sign me up. How about it, everyone? Only if he promises to stop smoking. That's a new line. Sid innate ability. When attacked, Sid will gain a small boost to his luck stat up to a maximum of 510. Why 510? That's an interesting in innate ability. Luck determines critical hit rate and also has a check called Lucky Dodge, which auto evades physical attacks. That's pretty sweet. 
For reference, a luck stat of 255 works out as a 64% chance to either land a critical hit or to lucky dodge. Okay, there's no text there. <laughs> Whatever. So that's an interesting ability. Glad to be aboard, numbskulls. Numbskulls? Anyone stupid enough to go against Shinra nowadays has got to be a numbskull. I like it. So, where are we headed? Rufus was yammering something about the Temple of the Ancients. That's where Sephiroth is headed, but how did Shinra find out? I don't know, but that numbskull kid said it was off to the south somewhere. Maybe an island of some kind. Then it's settled, I guess. But first let's head for land and gather some information. The Temple of the Ancients. I've got a bad feeling about this. Fort Condor. God, would you stop saying that? Well, I guess we could go to Fort Condor now. How to fly the Tiny Bronco. Press the OK button to get on. Press the Cancel button to get off. Tiny Bronco can cross shallow waters and rivers. Players can get on and off on the beach. So it's basically a boat. Now, in the normal game, at, at this point, I would go to Wu Tai, which is optional right now. It's a good way to get some extra stuff. Of course, with this mod, I don't know if we'll be able to handle that, but we can give it a shot. There's Nibelheim. Boom, boom, boom. You can kind of go through the shallow water, which is nice. Let's see, where is this? Okay, that's, that's the coral area. Time for dinner! Maybe we can get around this way to get to... Where we want to be, where's this? It's... Well, there's the Temple of the Ancients where we need to go next. We're not going there just yet. We got some stuff to do. Where's this? Save. Bum, bum, bum. -na 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 bum, bum, bum. Go ahead and just do it. I'll probably put my characters back in the front row at this point. Part two. Echo drops. Let's get some kills with Eris. I guess they kind of stopped doing the whole fast travel thing, because I didn't see the guy anywhere. And we'll just do Rama. End of this quick like. You gotta love one shots. Not exactly a good experience in money, but hey, a free ether. I'll take that. These ethers are extremely necessary. And they're not exactly cheap, so. 
They're definitely appreciated, I might have to say.